good morning guys. Just here having a beautiful coffee in uh, Kalua Kona in Hawaii on the big island. Um, my trolley is over there. And I, I arrived here last night. Um, so this place also holds a very significant um, memory for myself. I did the uh, Hawaiian Ironman World Championships here back in 2010, where you run down Ali'i Drive. Um, this is packed full of uh, spectators, and this is towards the finish line there. I trained for eight years um, to achieve this goal. It took me eight years um, of a lot of hard work and long hours and dedication. Um, after racing all around the world, doing races to earn my slot here. So, yeah. Um, I chose to come here to rest up for a little bit because um, I received that injury on that run from running shoes. I've been running barefoot for 10 years uh, with no shoes and stuff and not one um, major injury. And the injury I received was on the knee, so you gotta be very careful when it comes to your actual bone structure, um, your joints, um, tendon and ligaments, uh, a bit easier to recover. But yeah, you gotta know how serious it is, and it was actually quite serious, so I did run the seven days extra or so on the injury, and it just wasn't improving. As you know, over in the mainland of America, it's starting to get cold now, so I chose to come here where it's warmer climate, where I barefoot running is more um, suited. So, uh, there's a lot of uh, wealth here in Hawaii, um, and a lot of big influence also. So before I decided to make my way all the way back to Australia, this is a halfway point um, where I have my return ticket. So I've come here to rest up for a few days and see uh, what the Holy Spirit has in mind for me. Um, back when I was training here, this is my fifth time to Kona and last time was 10 years ago, back in 2014. Had, had a, um, a a family here where I was picking coffee, and I'm gonna run back to where they are to see if they're still there. Um, I can't. I've only got vivid memories of where it is and how it looks, but I don't know exactly. So it's gonna be a little bit of an adventure. And this coffee is about eight dollars fifty Australian. So I don't have one every day. I just get the um, cheap cheap ones at the service station or somewhere for two dollars um, so I'm appreciating this one because it's my first morning here and it's bringing back beautiful memories so um, yeah just help keep that vibration high and see what comes through see who I meet um, ones who've been to Honolulu know what it's like um, for the Australians who have never been there it's like um, Gold Coast Surface Paradise to give you an example I owned a dream property up in the mountains of the Gold Coast it had panoramic ocean views and city city nightlife uh, lights sunrise out of the ocean um, and my friend she was a world champion Ironman who won here um, Renee and I got this tattoo, Renstar, um, for her. She she passed away. She got killed on the bike. Um, so that was a big turning point in my life to change my life and um, dedicate my life to being an athlete instead of working to pay off a mortgage for the future and all that unpromised future. Because um, the way she died was a very significant way. So we have a lot of um, turning points in our life that put us on a different path and I have a spiritual outlook. Um, some people don't believe in, in God and that's fine. 
Some people have a lot of money and not enough time. Depends what you value and what's important to you. Um, and being an athlete and chasing my dreams as an athlete to try and help the uh, kids in need, that's what I've dedicated my life. That's my legacy with my Roo Runner socks. And it's not an easy task. There's a lot of loneliness, a lot of moments where people just don't understand. Um, I slept in the um, bush in the car in the dark last night. I thought nobody would see me. The security see me, told me to move on. I had to move on and went and slept in the long grass. Um, everything over here is lava rocks, so I couldn't drag my $1,000 trolley down through the rocks. Um, and that's how it is. Can't. So I'm going to head to this coffee farm and see if they're there. And um, it's coffee season, so I can pick some coffee. The Hawaiian Ironman's coming up um, in mid October. So let's see if I'm de uh, destined to stay here and see what comes about and see if I pull off some runs here. Uh, um, I just want to thank everybody who's uh, financially helped um, me with this run and believed in me. Um, so thanks Luke um, and thanks Dylan and thanks Chloe and her family and thanks the beautiful American people who helped donate. That's why I've decided to stop here for a bit. Um, it's a warmer climate, need to get my knee healed and see what comes about. Um, I'm not that far away to come back to the mainland, as they call it, to, back to America to pull off a run. If uh, we can do the Vegas out to Monument Valley where the Forrest Gump scene is, but we're coming into winter now, so the timing was not always the best for me. But I had to give it a crack. My dream of running across America was more in the outback, more in beautiful sceneries and peace and quiet, running beside the M5 all day, every day, and sleeping there at night time with the industrial noise and running 100 hours um, in 10 days and pushing that 110 pound trolley, 50 plus kilo trolley. Um, yeah, and no music for 10 days because I had no phone credit. So just even getting on Wi-Fi, you get in the cold and wet and tired and hungry and need to rest after big days, you're there trying to upload videos to give to you guys. Um, so anyway, that's just a little bit into it, guys. There's so much more to it, but um, she's not an easy journey um, and people don't fully understand it all. A lot of people are quick to judge and so forth. So anyway, I just want to say thanks to everybody. Love is all. And um, let's just see what happens over the next few days to the week. Um, have a beautiful day. God bless. Happy Sunday. Um, go for a run. Get your shirt off. Get vitamin D and vitamin C, um, which is the ocean. But... But yeah, take some time out for yourself, listen to your soul, and um, make sure you, you be true to yourself and um, do what's right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.